We start with a point. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Rob Bryanton. This is the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog, and today's entry is called Time Like Entanglement. I'd like to start out. Uh, with the opening paragraph from an article written by Lisa Zyga and published not long ago at physorg.com. The article is called Physicists Describe Method to Observe Time-Like Entanglement. In ordinary quantum entanglement, two particles possess properties that are inherently linked with each other, even though the particles may be spatially separated by a large distance. Now physicists S. J. Olson and Timothy C. Rell from the University of Queensland have shown that it's possible to create entanglement between regions of space-time that are separated in time but not in space, and then to convert the time-like entanglement into normal space-like entanglement. They also discussed the possibility of using this time-like entanglement from the quantum vacuum for a process they call teleportation in time. Personally, I find this idea much easier to assimilate when I look at the new diagram I've been showing you for the last few entries, and uh, here it is up here again. The underlying idea of time-like entanglement speaks to many of the more mysterious connections we've explored with this project, in such blog entries as Evidence for Seeing the Future, Magnets and Morality, Time and Schizophrenia, Beer and Miracles, Entangled Neurons, and Entangled Awareness and OBEs. Ultimately, if time is an illusion, and our probability space is really just geometry, then the possibility of there being patterns of connectedness across time makes perfect sense. Richard Dawkins understood this very well, and his invented word, memes, has now become a much-used way of talking about these timeless patterns that can connect across millennia without losing any of their impact. As a geneticist, he was interested in the fact that this makes memes much more powerful than genes. Here's what I said in my book about this. The connection that a group of like-minded people share, whether it be families, special interest groups, corporate culture, religion, sports fans, that song or band whose lyrics seem to express our innermost thoughts, this could be a very long list, can be viewed as a set of memes which connect people, not only in the third and fourth dimension, but across higher dimensions as well. In this way, memes can be shown to be even more influential than genes because of their ability to extend so powerfully across time. For example, the words of a Chinese philosopher from 3,500 years ago can still have the power to establish viruses of the mind, which infect new readers and spread from person to person. Influential thinkers such as Confucius or Socrates set into motion memes which can continue to have their full effect even to this day. Conversely, the unique set of genes belonging to Confucius or Socrates, if they are even in the world's gene pool today, by now are so completely diluted as to be inconsequential. The very next paragraph in my book talks about how memes are tied to the quantum observer that is within each of us, and that's the title of our next entry. Till then, enjoy the journey. The shit on YouTube and I couldn't believe my eyes Imagining the 10th dimension blew my fucking mind Discovering the secrets of the unseen universe Like fucking magnets, how do they work? Dimensional anomalies of everywhere we live Like how do the first prints have two different anvils? Here's another conundrum that might demonstrate things better How the fuck did Uncle Phil have the same voice as Shredder? Uncle Shredder must have lost some motherfucking weight From carrying that big ass metal helmet on his face But Craig was still the pimp who be all the checks hanging in the techno drove inside dimension X. The numeral for 10 X is the 10th dimension. Find a plan and take some notes because school is in session. We start with a point. Holy fuck, that blew my mind. The only thing more fucked up than a point is a line. If we now take our first dimensional line and draw a second line, not one but two lines. I must be in a dream. Haven't seen so many lines since I hung over Charlie Sheen. Man, police gonna put you in jail Cause the Charlie Sheen meme equals epic fail Memes age fast, I'm measured in dog gear She memes so old, it's gross and dog-eared Now I can see I finally got your attention Tell these motherfuckers about the third dimension Like a 3D movie, 
but you don't need no glasses. 3D objects stick up further than Kardashian asses. The fourth dimension, time. Just like turtles in time. That shitty movie where the turtles became samurai. Or more like the game, unrelated to the flick. Where Craig stole Lady Liberty just to be a prick. Saw that game on Nintendo, and I just had to have it. Throw foot soldiers at the screen with that most heaven graphics. Most heaven, bitch. Pixels big as my dick. Fuck that blast processing sun. Most heaven was the shit. Next dimension is fifth. Just like Zack the Big Turtle hugging a turtle with tits. Who looks disturbingly fertile? Oh yeah. I love me a sexy lady turtle. I'd like to go on, but now I'm sick of this shit. I think I got a better way to summarize it. In the upper dimensions, everything becomes greater. Transforming Mario Lopez into AC Slayer. We start with a point.